Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here again. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how glossy the original OEM Epson K3 inks can be. Normally, pigment inks are not designed to be used on glossy papers. They work quite well with luster, satins, barita, and papers with slightly less sheen than a full-blown glossy. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Red River I think it's Ultra Pro Glossy, which is an extremely glossy paper. And we will see how well these inks perform. Now, I'm here in Lightroom. I got my image already processed and ready to print. I'm going to be using the 3800 for this demonstration. And I'm going to be using it on a 13 by 19 piece of Red River Ultra Plus Glossy. So for our setup for our driver, we're going to use Premium Glossy Photo Paper. We're going to set our quality to high and we're going to use no color adjustment. Remember, usually when you open up your driver, it'll be set to your Epson standard sRGB. We're going to hit custom, we're going to scroll down on the drop down menu, pick no color adjustment. That way, only Lightroom will be managing color and not the driver. You do not, do not, do not want double profiling. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and OK again. Now on our right side of the printer module panel, we're going to scroll all the way down and here we're going to tell the application, normally it'll be set for managed by printer. We're going to click on that and we're going to choose our particular ICC profile and I am using Red River's custom profile for their own paper using the Pro 3800 and OEM inks. And that's really all you have to do at this point. This will guarantee that the print will match your monitor as long as your monitor has been properly calibrated with a hardware calibrator of your choice and set to the correct luminance. Okay, so we're going to choose Red River Ultra Plus Gloss 2.0 for the Epson 3800 and uh, we just hit print. Once the image has been spooled, we'll take a walk over to the printer and watch it emerge. So we'll see you there in a few seconds. Okay, now the uh, print that we just sent to the 3800 has been spooled and it's proceeding to print. I'll go ahead and let it finish printing. I'll speed up this whole process for you. Okay, we are done. Let me go ahead and set up the camera. I'm going to take off the wide angle accessory lens so that we can get a better view of this beautiful print. Be back in a second. Okay, here is the print. Uh, I, I know video simply will not do it justice. We're trying to figure out how well do these glossy papers react to K3 pigment inks. And normally, as has been most of our experiences, they don't do very well. There's always a lot of gloss differential. I'm trying to move the paper so you can see the surface and you'll have to admit that it is very glossy. Let me go ahead and zoom in and again folks uh, video does not justice to the quality of this print. It is uber uber good and Please refer back to the video when I was editing and getting ready to print it and you should be able to tell whether it is a fairly good match to the monitor. To me the color matches perfectly. Video may not be able to display that. And I work in a darkened room. My ceiling lights are only 40 watts so I cannot do a side by side comparison basically because it's just not going to work. Now, normally what happens, very deep blue, such as the ones in the upper right corner and upper left corner usually are not reproduced very well. Inks have a lot of trouble reproducing those types of colors. They are just too intense and often out of gamut. Let me go ahead and zoom into that little marshy area there. And uh, yeah, this is a very good combination. I have tried this with other third-party inks such as 
though sold by many many a company and the gloss differential is just too intense and really not very good combination so if you only use OEM you will get this type of result if you rather not if you still want to use third-party inks then I would suggest you try the inks from Inject Mall they are superior to just about anything else out there and the gloss differential is basically non-existent okay if you like this sort of video as always please like below any comments that you may have also feel free to ask me anything and I will definitely answer you back and of course please subscribe I really need the support so until the next time happy printing Bye-bye.